the study that we're currently doing provided the first experimental results for behavioral responses of some of the most common cetacean species to military sonar. But it also includes direct coordination and collaboration with the military. We've coordinated with sonars that are dipped from helicopters to transmit sonar in a, in a certain way that, that we can investigate um, experimentally. It gives us the first insight into how these animals respond to these types of active sonar signals that we know are present in their environment in a controlled way. And they basically told us that these animals respond to these types of signals in different ways, changing their calling behavior instantaneously, changing their movement and speed and spacing, take seconds to minutes, and then social changes occur over minutes to tens of minutes where the group composition can change. Having direct measurements in an experimental and controlled setting provides information to the military in terms of the impacts of Navy sonar on these protected cetaceans.